Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make this really cute beach happy place sign. This is on a piece of wood with some rope and some beautiful style tech craft vinyl in opal and also in craft in these beautiful, like I would call them bluey green colors. And this can hang and here you're seeing some pictures of what it looks like when it's hanging. And without further ado, let's get started with how to make this. All right, so first step is you wanna cut your board to the correct size. This board happens to be about seven and a half by seven and a half. It's a nice square, whatever size you wanna be, go for it. And we're gonna take a little bit of some folk art paint by Plaid, this is in parchment, and we're gonna add it to water. Not really an exact science side, just kinda of squirt it in. You really wanna have a diluted watery paint for this, uh, just to give that beautiful whitewash. If you wanna go with a true white, that's fine. And then go ahead and kind of paint it on. This is a very light color anyway, so I might actually add a tiny, tiny bit more on here. Just to, I think I diluted it a little too much. And then just paint it on. I want to be able to see the grain of the wood coming through. This is really good because this wood that I have right here, this, it's kind of like a particle board, has a really smooth surface here, so it's ready to be painted. So if you have a rougher surface, this method doesn't work as great. So just paint it all on there. I can add a little bit more water. So yeah, I really was way too much water there, but that's okay. If you feel like it's just too clean looking, add some more paint. Easily done. Now, once you've let this kind of just dry for just a couple of seconds, seriously, just take a little bit of just a paper towel and then just kind of pull a little bit of the paint off. If you feel like you've pulled a little too much, you can always add more back on. You can do a second layer. Careful of your fingers because your finger marks will be in there. So I really want to see that wood grain through here, but I want it to be white. So this is a white wash, super simple. If you want to go with more of a pure white paint, you can do that as well. And then just let this dry before we start adding our final. All right, so now while my board is drying and getting almost there, it's getting, it won't take long, but it did have some water on there. You want it bone dry, so we all the vinyl sticks. We're gonna start cutting our vinyl and getting our vinyl prepped to go onto the board. All right, so I have an old personal Cricut, and guess what? It cuts amazing. So you do not even need a mat. All you need to do is put your setting on three, three, and three. So if you have an older Cricut that has all these numbering systems and it doesn't have that dial or that font, pull it out, it still works. Cut your vinyl down to the size the mat would be. So this is just a little bit shy of seven inches. This is three and three fourths. And load it in as if it was gonna be regular paper. So load. And the phrase we're gonna use is the beach is my happy place. A little bit of something fun. So I'm using the opal, and this one's so pretty. Just look at me, you can even catch the, the sheen on here. So for this one, I'm gonna cut out beach and happy. On this sheet, I have already cut out is my and the, and then on this last sheet over here, place. So we're gonna do three different colors that are gonna fit on our wood sign. All right, so I have a set for this size to be three inches. I got three, three, and three set. I just need to type it, I'm doing it in capital letters. So I'm gonna do shift lock, and this is gonna be happy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the cutting process for all the colors, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll show you how to put it onto our board. I'm gonna cut my transfer tape, and this one from Style Tech Craft already has the grid on there, which is perfect for my letters. So I'm gonna cut this to size. I'm actually gonna cut right along here. All right, so my board is just a little bit too short. The mat is six inches, but the board is seven and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up from side to side and just get all of my little squares in perfect alignment. I'm gonna do a little bit more trimming. So as long as all of it, so there we go. So now I just need to trim up a little bit of the extra. If this transfer tape is exactly the right size, and it'll be easier for me when I transfer everything over. So all of my words are cut out, and I have the beach is my happy place. So now I'm gonna do all the weeding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the letters behind and pull off the surrounding. All right, so I've got most of the pieces off, but right now what I'm just gonna do is go in, and I've got my little weeding tool, and just pulling all, everything out that doesn't need to be there. So all of parts of the letters that are not needed. And look how amazing, without a mat, on an old-fashioned Cricut. Look, I even got some little holographic. This stuff is so pretty. This is the opal. This is a blue opal, and it's so pretty. And as always, 
All links are down below where you can find your stuff. So I'm gonna keep on weeding this out and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna attach this to our transfer tape. All right, so I've got my vinyl just laying on here and I just wanna see if everything fits. Cause if I can need to recut something cause something's misaligned, now now's a chance to do that. I also wanna kinda of play with where I wanna put it. So I'm gonna come in and just do a little bit more trimming just so I have the heights. So I'm just gonna trim all of this up just a little bit more just to make sure I'm not misaligned. Width wise, I'm fine. It's the height wise I, have, I'm, I might be a little short on. And I am good to go. It all completely fit on there. I love the sizing of it. And I want everything from a one inch on the smaller word. So these two are one inch. This one was two and a half and these ones were one and a quarter. So just a little bit bigger, lowercase and uppercase kind of playing around and having some fun with that. All right, so now it's time to transfer it. So when you're attaching vinyl to a wood board or something, your transfer tape, you wanna have sticky side facing down and the word or whatever picture it is facing you the way that it normally is. So sticky side to the non-sticky side of this. And I'm gonna have this go right at the top, kind of right about there. And then I'm gonna rub, rub, rub. And this stuff is reusable. So the fact that I'm lifting it up and, out, up and down off my mat, totally fine. And flip this over. And I'm gonna leave that because I don't want this to stick to anything else. So I'm just gonna leave that for right now. And I'm gonna come in with the word beach. These words have a grid, so I can use the grid to my benefit. So I can make sure that my letters are lined. So I have a line right along here that I'm gonna line all of these letters up on, all the way across. So I just lined it right across that line right there to make sure it was nice. And it's okay that these are overlapping because I'm just gonna be pulling the white part off in a minute. So I'm gonna keep adding my words along here, making sure that everything is fitting. You kind of saw the placement and then now we're gonna transfer it to the dry board. I'm gonna speed this part up. All right, so to make sure everything's gonna stick, I'm just gonna take my tool and really make sure everything is on the transfer tape. So really make sure all the vinyl is sticking to the transfer tape, but good. All right, now we're gonna flip this over and now it's time to peel off the transfer tape. Now whatever is on top, so I'm kind of gonna go from the bottom back up again. And it should stick the transfer tape, look at that. Look at that, so it's all in transfer tape and then that is sticky, which will transfer to the wood. Now it's just peeling all these layers off. Okay, so now the moment of truth. I have my beautiful board, it's ready, it's, it's dry, and now it's a matter of placing this perfectly on here exactly the way I want. And since I cut my transfer tape to be the right size, I know everything's gonna be lined up. So just place this on here. As soon as I'm happy with kind of where everything is, now just rub everything on. Go ahead, go back in with your scraping tool and really make sure that everything transfers. and then just take a little corner and gently pull just to make sure that nothing is coming off, that everything is transferred nicely. As long as you've pushed it down. The release of the transfer tape is not as strong as the stick of the vinyl, so that's why everything is sticking and not pulling back up again, which is awesome. And down to the little tiny dot for the eye. Oops, there's one I need to go back in. We are gonna make sure that everything is stuck down really well in a minute, just getting our transfer tape off first. If you have a little spot like that L just kind of pulled up, just kind of place it back down, rub, and then pull it back up again. And it just might've been, there we go. And there it is. Look at that, so cool. Now the cool thing is, is that that opal, look how shiny it is. So I love the contrast between the craft vinyl. So this is the craft vinyl we have in two different colors and that opalescent vinyl. And it really does kind of hit both color notes that both of these have, because it's got that light and it's got that dark, which is just kind of fun. So it really makes the beach and the happy stand out. And changing the size of the fonts and going with lowercase and uppercase really does kind of make your sign pop. Now, so I have a different tool and this one's got a little bit of felt on there, so it's not gonna damage. And I'm just gonna kind of come in and make sure everything is really firmly on there. I don't wanna use my scrapey scrapey tool, which is good for transferring through the, through the transfer tape. But once it's on here, I don't wanna damage my vinyl. So I'm using this nice one here. Just to make sure everything is set, which it is. Lovely. 
I grabbed my robe and I picked it a lovely, pretty little blue. I love this, I love this, I love this. Okay, so it's really matching into the whole blueness of the ocean theme. And I'm just gonna use a universal glue to get everything stuck down. So I'm gonna add the glue going around the entire edge. And I did put my craft mat back down mostly because I don't wanna get glue on my good table, but I can clean my craft mat, which is awesome. So I'm just going around the perimeter. I'm gonna do a few loops of this glue. And then we're also, because this is not gonna have any way to hang up unless I add some sort of element on the back side, we're gonna turn the rope into a way to hang. So I'm gonna start at the top because you're less likely to see the top. And I'm just gonna wrap, wrap, wrap. And just loop all the way around. And then we're gonna go around two to three times. And on one of the loops, we're gonna add it to be a little bit extra. So that way you can hang it. I'm gonna do that on the second loop though. So go all the way around. And if I go flush on the bottom to all of it, there we go. And then angle it up a little bit higher. When you do this, you wanna make sure it's kind of sitting nice and tight. You don't leave any gaps. So I might have to go back and kind of re-tighten it. And then, oh, make sure there's no extra fluffies hanging on there. And then as you come around the very end, I'm gonna flip this around so I can see, as you get to here, instead of have it being flush, do this, maybe a little bit less. And this is what it hangs from right here, right? So you give yourself a little bit of room. So I gotta hold that. You could also put something in the way like that. So you're giving yourself a barrier so it doesn't. Nice thing also about this is that as it's laying on here, I can maneuver this thing around. I can move my whole mat. I don't have to just move my, um, my board. So just make sure everywhere, and I'm gonna remove this real fast, you have glue wherever your rope is touching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding the rope going all the way around. It's gonna have about three strands, two on the top, because that's where this piece is, and then let it dry and it'll be all done. So here it is, it's all fully done. I love it. I love that the blue color is fitting within it. And keep in mind, you could change this to be whatever it is, whatever the lake, the, the desert, the, the mountains, the forest, change up your colors, have fun with it, create a sign that fits for you, that is about you, and it's just a little bit of something fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Links to all supplies are down below, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye everybody.